Blessings, blessings, everyone. It's going to be a nice, uh, lengthy video. It's in reference to the SMCW, the New Jersey Spring House Music Conference Weekender. We have now added the Deep House Magazine Award um, to this uh, Weekender. So this is going to be pretty big. It's not a a quick thing of the awards. It's going to be just like you watching BET Awards where performers are going to be performing in between. Um, nominees presented by certain people. Um, it's, it's big. It's going to be nice. Before that right there though will be the last of um, I'm not going to say the last but uh, for, for now it's going to be, we're going to say, we're going to use the word the last of the SMCW Awards. I don't know what George A. has in place for the Deep House Magazine Awards and how people are being nominated and everything else. I can only tell you about the SMCW. Just to give you an idea. Um, one is, if you were a DJ in the 80s, 90s era, um, we had a couple different record stores that we went to to get our vinyl. <coughs> and... Um, one that stood out, um, I'm thinking a little more so than others, and that's my opinion, was Moving Records. Um, just going to name a couple people that were there that was a part of it. The owner, of course, Abigail Adams, and a good friend of mine, like a brother to me, who was there, um, Joe Smith. So um, I chose this um, as one of my um, awards for, it's like a lifetime achievement award because if you were in that era, then you got your music from them or one of the others, but um, a lot of the music did flow through them. A lot of the recording artists that was in that era had came in to do autograph signings and so on and so forth. I can remember um, playing there, handing out records to people that came in, and Tony Humphrey was coming through. It was a part of the whole, to me, it was a part of the whole movement, you know? And it was appreciated. And if you were a DJ, you would definitely want to, you know, and, and, you know, came there to get your vinyl, definitely want to be here to see them get their flowers, you know? Um, I believe Abby deserves it. And, um, you know, uh, that's one. The other one is uh, Josh Milan. Josh Milan has Honeycomb Records and has put out multiple hits and has numerous artists underneath his label that has put out multiple hits. So if you are a Josh Milan fan, it would behoove you to be there because he's going to get his flowers for being one of the top, um, I'm going to say one of the top producers, engineers in the industry. Um, now, there are more, and Deep House Magazine will probably cover a lot of different things when it comes to that, but um, this right here is special. Um special for so many reasons. Um, I, I just believe that it should be, he should be recognized for all that hard work that he has done and all the different hits that we continuously play that came through him. All right. There will be a tribute by Dawn Tallman. So she'll be performing. Um, and, uh, it's going to be well worth the uh, price of admission. Um, the other is, if anyone knows about the jamboree that goes on over in uh, Brooklyn, that's been going on for about 30 years. And Lil Ray is, I mean, he continuously does this year after year after year after year, so many talented DJs 
and recording artists have been there, performed, played, and it's like, it's quiet. It shouldn't be quiet. 30 years. That's a long time. That's pretty much, I'm thinking, probably the start of the whole outside in the park movement, you know, for 30 years strong. Um, so he's definitely been nominated to receive his flowers for a lifetime achievement award from the SMCW camp. Um, I, 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 I've been there numerous times. Um, we chat. You know, we played, actually me and Little Ray has played together, you know what I mean, on a set at, at a venue. But, you know, for him to take his time out and put that together is a beautiful thing. That's that's not being selfish, you know, where, you know, we put things together and we are DJs, you know, and it's not about us. It's about the community. And... You know, we sit back and try to make it as, as, make it the best event that you possibly can attend. And he's been recognized. He's been recognized. Um, the other one is for Jersey, Anthony Smith, Lincoln Park House Music Festival. We've been going to that for years. Yes. Anthony Smith, it's time to get your flowers. So we we encourage anyone and everyone that knows these individuals to show their support, not just because it's a free event, you know, and you attend it, but to show your support because of all the hard work and dedication that's put in to putting these events on for your enjoyment. So come out. Enjoy the award show. Enjoy the conference part where they'll be talking about various topics and stuff like that. It, it, you know, it's 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 Jersey that's putting this on for the tri-state and any other state. You know what I mean? It's house music. You know what I mean? Like, we try to bring the best to you, you know? We see people flying all over. They can fill up a plane and go to Chicago from Jersey, but your own backyard. And it's a lot cheaper, you know. Not, I'm, and I'm not taking anything away from going out of town and and and, and enjoying yourself and seeing, you know, different, you know, a, a whole different situation. But you should be supportive of your own town as well, your own neighborhood, your own tri-state, you know, as much as possible because it's a lot of hard work that a lot of these event planners are doing, you know, that are putting into this this to make it happen for you. So, you know, let's, let's, let's try to make it happen. Um, the next is a brother that I've known since he was a little kid. DJ Antoine Kwa has been around for forever. <laughs> and um, he, to be so young... He has done so many different things and has helped a lot of you DJs, a lot of you DJs out there, the platforms that he that he provides so that you can play and display your talent. He has just done so much for the community. It's unreal. And just to think, you know, he's a Newark native. You know what I mean? Little kid from Newark. Grew up, you know, put his work in, put his time in. It, it's, it's time for him to get his flowers. And I believe that if you have any type of love for Antoine Qua, you would be there to cheer him on when he receives his flowers. You know, it shouldn't matter, you know, um, that there's... Uh, a, a limited amount of people because you can't give everybody, you know, flowers, you know, in one year. You got to have, you know, th this this has to keep going. So there's going to be others that's going it's going to take place with. But I can honestly say he is deserving of his flowers, and 
it, it would be a great honor for me to present it to him and for you, especially all you that have attended all the Antoine Choir and Friends parties. He's brought so much talent to New Jersey and has done so much. You know, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It would behoove you, behoove you to make sure that you're there. I'm just going to throw it out there. Naeem Johnson. Everybody loves Naeem Johnson. Naeem's been doing this for a very long time. A very long time. And the brother is, is amazing with reading of the crowd and displaying his talent. And it seems like it could never get old at all. I am proud that we have the relationship that we have, you know, outside of music as well as a part of the music game. Um, I have a pretty much, I have a good relationship with pretty much all the uh, DJs that, you know, put in their work in the area and, you know, it's not unrecognized. Naeem is, I mean, if you got love for Naeem, you, you got to be there. You got Kwa and you got Naeem Johnson. Two from right here. Jersey, WBLS, both put in so much work to get to where they are today. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a second guess. You already know he's going to be doing the after party because it's only right. And right beside him doing the after party would be Jihad Muhammad. So that right there alone is definitely worth the price of admission to be there for the awards to be presented and also to <laughs> dance like, like you've never danced before with that after party. So um, you got a lot of performers performing. Um, this is all going to take place in Ballroom 1. The price of admission for the weekend, or should we call it the weekender, is $75 only. So only $75. And I made a three easy pay where you can put $25 down for your early bird because the tickets is gone. When the tickets is gone, there is no more. Three payments of $25. And it's spread out for... A couple of months, we have to revamp the the, the uh, scheduling of the payments a little bit because, you know, just going to make sure that we keep track of, you know, we don't want people to sit sitting there saying, okay, I'm gonna pay twenty five dollars and I'm gonna wait a whole another sixty days before I pay another twenty five and then try to, you know, get in. So we're gonna revamp that where right now for the early bird tickets only. It's $75, and it's $25 now to make sure that you are part of that early bird up until January 1st. After January 1st, the price goes up, and there is no more three easy pay at all. There is no more. You have to pay full price, and the ticket price will be higher. So that will, that will get you in. Friday, when you check in the hotel on Friday, you have the conference from 5 to, five to I think, 9 p.m. And your panelists will be DJs from the community. All right? Um, Doc Martin will be hosting that. Look at the names that we're throwing out here. Um, and, and you know what? It was great that the community came together to want to do this because you have um, brothers that have their own uh, situation going as far as music and wanted to put in time to be a part of the conference. I, I, I appreciate that. Like, that's big. Um, right after that conference, 
You go upstairs, change or whatever. You got the after party with Mif Mickey Affleck and T. Wise from 10 to 2 in the morning. Then you got to get up. 12 o'clock is the conference also held by Doc Martin where you can be a part of uh, the artist point of view. You got um, entertainment management. You have record label owners. You have um, political people there because a lot of questions are asked about why the city doesn't fund this and, you know, um, uh, how do you get sponsorship and so on and so forth. You got to have a lot of that um, going on as far as the panelists are concerned with that there. Then you have Delmar Brown as a guest speaker who's a part of the BK Basement um, radio show. So, you know, it should be real, real, it should be a lot of information being put out there. Then you have, of course, the award show, the SMCW Awards, and then you have the Deep House Magazine first annual awards that will take place right into it. That will be hosted by, I believe, Eddie Nicholas, um, the Deep House Magazine Music Awards. The conference itself is hosted by no one other than Ross Anthony Wiggins. Ballroom 2. There's a DJ marathon going on. And for people with birthdays, you can do either or room for your birthday uh, package. But you have DJs playing. You have... <laughs> To me, it's some of the top DJs in the area so that you can have a great time. You know, where if you don't want to, uh, uh, should I say, be a part of this room here the whole entire time, you can go into this room here. All right? Two separate rooms. I call it the soulful house and the other room I call the ballroom one where Jihad and Naeem and Mickey and them playing, we call that the deep house room, all right? Um, the tickets for the marathon, and it's a pajama party too, it's going to be the biggest house music pajama party. You got Steve Davis, Chillex, DJ Wonder Woman, Sonny T from Baltimore, DJ Sonny T, uh, Sean Lover, um, who else? Uh, DJ D Boyd, and if, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Um, let me just take a look here just to make sure, because I don't want to leave out nobody's name. But uh, DJ Flash, okay? So you have 10 tables that you can reserve for birthday reservations. You have to get in contact with Steve Davis for those tickets and that. That's a $60 ticket. That ticket only allows you in the marathon in ballroom two and the conference in each on each day on Friday and Saturday. Not the after parties nor the award show. So for fifteen dollars more, you got an all access pass where you can go and move about the cabin. You go into this room or that room and enjoy yourself. You got Keith Thompson performing live and Jersey's own Kia Stewart performing live in the marathon pajama party. Okay? Uh, I know I can probably give you the artists that are performing, some of the artists that are performing in the ballroom one, Kenny Bobian. So there was a change. Aaron K. Gray is no longer performing. It's going to be Kenny Bobian. Um, 
these are only a few of the artists that I know of. Um, Crystal Lavelle, Christy Love, Reggie Steele, and Dawn Tallman. So you got a festival and a concert and an award show going on. $75. Keith Thompson, <coughs> excuse me, and Kia Stewart in the other room. And if you wanted to see the performance, after you look at the performance in when the award show is over, you can run and catch Kia and Keith Thompson live in the other room. All right? The $75 ticket gets you in everything. 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 It's only $75 for all that you're getting. The hotel rooms will be discounted. Probably the information will go out, I would say, around the first of the year. Somewhere around there. You'll be notified. There is a group page called the New Jersey Spring House Music Conference. That page right there will have a lot of the information on it as well. So, I mean, if you got love and respect for the people that's getting their flowers, be there. Show, pack the building. Show them the support. This is huge. This is big. All right? Um, if you want to do sponsorship, please get at me. I, I it, it costs money to do this. So please get at me. I have I, I don't turn down nothing when it comes to money because we need all the support we can to make sure that this goes over without a hitch. Okay? So please take advantage of the three easy pay. Right now, you can get in Mr. East. And this is uh, because of the relationship I have with Qua, where if you bought a ticket already and you buy one between now and Wednesday, you get in for free from 5 to 7 with Timmy Register playing and Kenny Bobian's uh, birthday party. You got Steve Davis in there playing. You know, um, I don't know what the arrangements are where you have... Uh, you have a couple EQ, uh, I think it's EQ, DJ EQ, he's playing, I don't know if everybody's playing the same room or they splitting the rooms, I don't know how that works, but you're getting in for free for from 5 to 7 and you stay in there and looking at the legendary Timmy Regisford and you know it's going to be big with Kenny Bobby in there doing his birthday party. So, I mean, it's, it's, to me, it's worth trying to get that in between now and Wednesday. I'll probably do it again because I know the 22nd of December, I'll be playing alongside Tony Humphrey. So, I'll probably do it again. This is for all ticket holders. They will be on my list. Make sure you contact me. So I can put you on the list. Just don't come in and say, I bought a ticket. You have to be on the list. It's a lot of people buying tickets. So let me know that you're going to attend. Just because you bought a ticket doesn't mean you're going to attend. So it doesn't mean I'm going to put you on the list. I have to have that information so that I can add you. Okay? I appreciate all the love and support. Let's make history with this. You know? The SMCW. Oh, I think it was the first 25 people that bought tickets, they got a free SMCW sweat towel, all right? The shirts will be out soon, so you can pre-order your shirts. Um, I'm looking forward to see all my friends at once. Please be there. All house heads from Chicago, Atlanta, California, Italy, I mean, Near and far, come and support. This is a house music movement. It's it's here, you know. If you was here last year, I know you had a good time. So, excuse me, please show your love. Peace.